Hello everyone, my name is Oyeb Lutfi and in this video we are going to talk about chemical, uh, weak chemical interactions and hydrogen bonds and Van der Waals interactions, okay? Uh, and so these are the main subjects for this video and before we start, please like, the, uh, like this video uh, and if you would like, you can uh, subscribe to this channel uh, and so that's all and without any further ado, let's start learning okay so in most of uh, the organisms uh, the strongest uh, kind of chemical bonds are covalent bonds uh, which uh, link atoms uh, to form cells molecules okay or cellular molecules uh, but weaker interactions within and between molecules are also uh, indispensable okay contributing greatly to the energy uh, emergent uh, properties of life okay and many large biological molecules uh, are held in their functional form uh, by these uh, weak interactions like for example uh, proteins okay uh, and in addition when two molecules in the same uh, in the uh, cell uh, come close and make contact they may adhere temporarily by weak interactions uh, and so the reversibility uh, of these weak interactions uh, can uh, can be uh, advantageous okay uh, so in this picture you can see the hydrogen bonds and the covalent bonds formed in between uh, the uh, molecules of water and in this picture, uh, you can see the hydrogen bonds uh, holding together the functional uh, structure uh, of uh, proteins, okay? Uh, and these are another uh, kind of interactions that uh, uh, these weak interactions make, okay? So, there are several types of weak interactions uh, are that are important uh, in organisms uh, one is the ionic bond uh, as it exists between ions uh, dissociated in water which we have uh, discussed uh, in my previous videos uh, and hydrogen bonds and van der Waals uh, interactions okay uh, are these are also crucial for life now let's get to the hydrogen bonds okay so among weak chemical interactions hydrogen bonds are so central uh, to the chemistry of life uh, that they deserve a special attention okay uh, so whenever uh, a hydrogen atom is covalently bonded to an electronegative atom okay uh, the hydrogen atom gets uh, a partial positive charge that allows it to be attracted to a different electronegative atom nearby okay mainly electronegative atoms that are um, more electronegative than hydrogen okay uh, and the attraction between a hydrogen uh, and an electronegative atom is called uh, an hydrogen bond okay and in living cells, electronegative partners are usually oxygen or uh, nitrogen or fluorine atoms. Okay, and you can see these atoms over here. Okay, and in this picture, uh, you can see an example uh, of hydrogen bond between uh, water or H2O and ammonium or NH3. Okay so the hydrogen atoms uh, of h2o or water uh, are partially positive or delta plus uh, and the nitrogen atom of nh3 or ammonium uh, is delta minus okay uh, and if you don't know what uh, delta is or what does this um, icon mean okay uh, you can uh, watch my previous videos uh, mainly in uh, the part in of uh, the part of the ionic bonds and we have talked about this uh, um, character okay now let's learn about van der waals interactions 
okay? Uh, so even a molecule with non-polar covalent bonds, um, many have positively and negatively charged regions, okay? Uh, and as you might know, electro electrons are not always uh, evenly uh, dis uh, distributed uh, in th inside the atom, okay? Uh, and in any instant, they may accumulate by chance in one part of a molecule or another, okay? Uh, and so, the results are ever-changing regions uh, of positive and negative charge, okay? That enable uh, all the atoms uh, and molecules to stay together uh, in, this, uh, in a solution, okay? So this is how these bonds are formed. So uh, in sometimes by chance, uh, this the electrons just accumulate in the left side, for example, of this atom, uh, and this causes uh, this part to be uh, a delta minus and this part to be a delta plus. Okay, uh, and so uh, this delta plus attracts the electrons. Okay, and we know that positive attracts negative or minus charge. Uh, so uh, the main result is the picture or the part of the picture uh, in the bottom part, uh, which uh, equals uh, the delta plus part of uh, this atom, um, just pulling and bring, bringing uh, the d electrons to uh, the left part of that other, uh, the other atom uh, and the result is delta negative on the left side of that atom okay and these van der Waals interactions are individually weak and uh, occur only when atoms and molecules are very close together uh, when many such interactions occur simultaneously they can be powerful okay uh, for example uh, when van der waals interactions uh, allow the gecko lizard okay uh, and i will show you the picture in a few moments okay uh, to uh, walk straight straight up a wall uh, and or hang from the ceiling with one finger okay so let's see this uh, gecko okay so this is the gecko that i was talking about so how does this lizard uh, accomplish such a difficult task okay uh, so the anatomy of a gecko's food foot includes many uh, minuscule hair like projections uh, from the toes and uh, strong tendons underlying the skin Okay, which carefully um, creates uh, a balance between maximum surface uh, contact with the wall and necessary uh, stiffness of the foot. Okay, uh, and so the van der Waals interactions uh, between the foot um, molecules uh, and the molecules of the wall uh, of the wall's surface uh, are so numerous uh, that despite their uh, individual uh, van der Waals interactions uh, that are weak uh, they together can uh, support the gecko's body weight okay uh, and so together they uh, stand but in, in divided they fall as in the Tran transformers movie okay so the discovery of uh, this uh, gecko's foot and the mechanism of it uh, has, this, uh, has inspired uh, development of an uh, artificial adhesive called gecko skin. Okay, um, a patch of it uh, of this gecko skin uh, in the size of an index card uh, can hold uh, up to. Uh, uh, 700 pounds um, upon the wall so in conclusion um, 
Van der Waals interactions and hydrogen bonds and ionic bonds uh, in water and other weak interactions uh, may form not only between molecules uh, but also between parts of a large molecule such as a protein uh, and the cumulative effects of weak interactions um, are to reinforce uh, the three-dimensional shape of molecules. And so that was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and if you had any questions, uh, you can uh, just write them in the uh, comment sections below, and I will answer them in one, uh, on, sorry, uh, in a day or two. Okay. Uh, and so until the next video, happy learnings to you all.